John Kiriakou is a former CIA officer, and he joins us tonight. John, thanks very much for coming on. Thanks for having so you me. You worked at CIA for a long time under John Brennan, who ultimately backed your prosecution, for which you were sent to prison for a crime that I don't think would be considered a crime uh, today. So tell me, with that perspective, your reaction to watching John Brennan trotted out before the cameras daily almost for the last two years as an expert on the Russia an expert. conspiracy. I think this was scandalous for a number of reasons, the most important of which is that John Brennan has repeatedly used the word treason, the word traitor, when describing the president. Uh, treason is a death penalty charge. Is he seriously saying, or has he been saying, that the president ought to be executed for something having to do with a scandal that really never existed? Uh, it, to me, John Brennan just simply is not a serious person. He shouldn't be taken seriously by us or by anybody else. And I'm going to get a little bit personal here, too. I worked with John Brennan for many, many years. I always thought that he was in over his head intellectually, and I think he's proven that repeatedly in his responses and reactions to the news coming out of this, uh, this investigation. You know, it's funny you, you said that. I think the default assumption for most people, including me, is that the director of the CIA is a very smart man. You'd the best to. and the brightest. It's a very complex job. It is. I've watched him closely in his public performances over the past couple of years, and I've concluded that he's not very bright. I'm not attacking him. No, no. It's okay. That's an observation. But it's clearly the case. How does a guy like that run the CIA? How do you well, get that job? You get that job by, by latching on to George Tenet before George Tenet even entered the CIA. Uh, John Brennan in the 1990s was George Tenet's briefer when George was at the National Security Council as the director of intelligence programs. And so when George became the deputy director of the CIA, he took John over with him and then just promoted him through the ranks until he was practically cabinet level. I mean, that's how senior So just pure cronyism became. is what that's you're That's all it was, and it took less than a decade. He was on a rocket ride to the top of his career track at the CIA. So now, I guess the, the result of all of this stuff that we've watched for a couple of years is that the ordinary person, me, everyone else, knows that these agencies are run by people who are much less impressive than we thought with mm -hmm. political agendas, and in some cases are ruthless and cruel. You're one of the people who felt the sting of that. You went to prison. I did, it. thanks to John Brennan. Guys like Roger Stone are headed to prison mm -hmm. because of that. Where are the pardons here? I mean, is it time for the executive branch to send a really clear message? We're going to stop the destruction of innocent people by completely out of control bureaucrats. I think it is the time for pardons. I heard Senator Lindsey Graham say earlier today that pardons probably would not be uh, met uh, very well right now in the United States Senate. I think he's wrong. I think that the American people understand that the people have been wronged. Look at Mike Flynn. What yes. that poor guy has gone through. Uh, look at uh, look at uh, Roger Stone. You know, these are all process felonies, Tucker. We, we talked about this once before. These are felonies that really didn't exist until these people were thrown exactly. into this investigation. That's exactly right. They're crimes that would never have been committed otherwise. Since the investigation has come to naught, I think it's time to wipe the slate well, it, clean. And, and by the way, it doesn't make sense not to pardon people. I agree. You think this is a scam and a hoax, and the people... That's in right. Charge Wipe the slate are illegitimate, clean. then you have an obligation to make it right by That's pardoning right. the people who are wrong. And I hope you're on that list. Thank you so much. Great to see you tonight. Thank the you. The pleasure is always mine.